Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the first of this year orchestral festival. Um, before I do anything and say anything, I really would like to ask you all to shut off your mobile phones. That really is very, very important. So if you have a mobile phone, please shut it off. And, um, and then we can guarantee that we'll have some quiet throughout the performance. Um, I'm particularly delighted with this sort of event in Fabicia. The school is very used to having competitions in the school. Teams come in here and we're competing. We are less used to having people come in here to work together as a team, highly disciplined, disciplined team, in harmony. It's quite a poignant time because we all know what's happened in the world over the last few days, months. The world seems to be a more and more dangerous place. And uh, what happened yesterday in Paris, or the day before, is on everyone's minds right now. But that follows on from what happened over Sinai when a Russian plane was downed, and bombs in Beirut, and the constant bombs that are going off in Syria and in Iraq. The young people you see behind me are our hope for the future. Many of the people around the world who really don't understand what it is to live together in harmony are committing the atrocities that we're having to live with right now. It is dependent upon people like the students you have here to make this world a better place for us all. This concert demonstrates what can be achieved when young people get together and decide to do something in harmony. This is probably much, much tougher than playing for a school sports team or competing. To actually come together as one in a short time and put on a performance is quite remarkable. That they're doing so at this particular time is very poignant indeed. But before we start the concert, I would like you all to please stand and I'd like a moment's silence for not just those people who died in Paris, but for all victims of terrorism and war wherever they are around the world. Thank you. Please remain standing for the National Anthem.
Okay, um, there's a little bit of shuffling around now, and that was, uh, I think, the first time we've had a full-blown orchestra uh, with the National Anthem. Um, there are eight schools represented here tonight, and I believe there are people who have flown in from various parts of Asia to be here. But the schools being represented are, and if you could make a noise, please, if it's your school, Discovery Bay International School, Hong Kong. Are you there? Thank you. <laughs> I think there were two people there, but I know there are a lot more. Thank you, Discovery Bay. Uh, British International School, Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> Obviously a very noisy school. Um, British International School, Ho Chi Minh. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, British School, Jakarta. I'm not sure if they were sure about that. Um, Alice Smith School, KL. <laughs> People in the audience shouting there as well. Uh, welcome to you all. Tanglin Trust. Thank you. Uh, Taipei European School. Uh, British School, Beijing. And finally, the British International School, Phuket. I'm really looking forward to this. Please enjoy the concert and welcome to you all once again. Thank you. everybody. When we meet at these um, festivals, we have, well in this case, we have a full-blown symphony orchestra. But not every piece of music is written for everybody who, who's playing in, in the ensemble. So we've got a few pieces where we have, they're called minor ensembles, and they're sh showcasing students who are multi-talented. Not all of these are percussionists. So we're going to start with um, a samba band. And then we're going to move over to the other side when we have a jazz ensemble. And then we will finish with a flute choir before we move on to our orchestral pieces. Thank you.
here we've heard some samba from Brazil. Um, the jazz band played uh, Blackbird, um, an arrangement of a Lennon and McCartney number. And the flute choir played a very beautiful um, uh, piece called Cool, Calm and Collected. Um, in a minute, when everybody's cleared, we're, we're going to start with our um, orchestral programme. Over the last few days, um, I've been working with my musical colleagues, both from BISP and from all over Southeast Asia. And a lot of the time, um, we've been working together. You'll have noticed there are quite a few adults um, in, in the orchestra and the various bands. And these are all my colleagues. But we've also um, been joined by a professional conductor. It's, much, it's a much better experience for the children to work with somebody other than the teachers that they see every day. So we've had the great pleasure to work with um, Jonathan Mann. I first came across him when I worked in Bangkok. Um, my students from my previous school, they went to this wonderful string orchestra. We used to go every year. And one year, Jonathan was the, um, the lead conductor for this event. And they remembered him because he was a nice guy, but they remembered him most of all because on that very occasion, he proposed to his now wife. And that was their fondest memory of going there. Now, there's an even closer connection because Jonathan comes from somewhere in Cardiff called Rubina, which also happens to be where Mr. Richards used to coach a rugby team. Jonathan wasn't a rugby player, though. So what we're going to do this evening now, we're going to play the first movement of a Mozart symphony, and then we're going to play several movements from Bizet's La Lesienne Suite. Okay, so I would like to welcome you to, oh, well, I wouldn't, I would like to welcome Mr. Jonathan Mann.
Well, uh, good evening everybody. It's a real pleasure to be at the uh, British International School Phuket. Um, it's just amazing to hear some other British accents this week. Um, my wife is American and I live with a lot of Americans and I live in Bangkok, so it's very rare I hear a British accent around. So it's been wonderful to be at this school this week. Um, we've had such an amazing time um, playing works by these two different composers. The first was by uh, Mozart. I'm sure you've all probably heard that on your mobile phones. That tune has been uh, used as a ringtone before, but it's actually one of the most difficult pieces of music to actually perform. Um, so it's incredible that these young musicians have been able to perform like that for you this evening. Um, we're now going to play a piece by the French composer Georges Bizet. It's um, four movements from his La Lésienne Suite. Basically, it's all about a young, beautiful girl from the south of France and a guy who's not very rich, but he loves the girl and unfortunately she lets him down. Um, but uh, in this, in this uh, four movement piece we're going to play, um, you're going to hear several dance-like movements. You're going to hear a march theme that we start with, which comes back later on. And we're also going to play you one of the most beautiful pieces ever written, and I will explain more when we get to it, but that comes up after the first two movements. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
Um, as we're such an international community and we've just been playing music by a French composer, I'd like to dedicate this next movement to the victims of the Paris uh, terrorist attacks uh, that we're, we're all so sad about. I'm sure that in this international community there are connections with France and with Paris. Um, so I'd appreciate it actually if there'd be no mobile phones filming now. Uh, there'd be no photographs for this movement, please and that you would refrain from applauding until we play the, the movement after this one. I, I've been trying to get through to the kids that actually the most important part of music is actually silence. It's what comes before the music and it's what comes after the music. And it's in those moments that we get to actually reflect on our lives. You know, when was the last time you heard silence? I mean, we never hear it. I mean, let's, let's listen now. I mean, we never get, we never get silence, do we? It's, it's amazing. And, and it's uncomfortable, actually. So I'd really like it if you could, uh, during this movement, to really be able to take time just to relax and enjoy the music and reflect on things. Think about Paris. I'm going to dedicate this now to those in Paris and all over the world who are dealing with very, very difficult situations. So we hope you enjoy. This is the Adagietto.
Wow. Um, sitting so close, I could feel the music. And I think what Jonathan said made all of us really think about the music very deeply. Um, it's one of the best and nicest performances that I've had in the school. And um, it's so wonderful to have so many young people showing us how the world can live in harmony. It doesn't matter what nationality, what creed, what ethnic uh, background you have, that when you get together and you are determined to make things work, you can produce that. That was produced by eight different schools in just a period of two days. That is quite remarkable. So Jonathan, I don't know where you are, but what a fantastic achievement. Um, I also enjoyed watching Jonathan work at the front. You can see how much effort is put into that. And uh, I can't remember you in Rubina. But I'm sure you're much younger than me anyway. Um, that was a fantastic performance. Performances, though, are for the people who come to attend them as well. You are very much a part of what happened this evening. If you were not here, everything would have been a little bit flatter. The fact that you responded so well in every way, from everyone from the little children right the way through to us oldies, I think was remarkable, and I think it shows the power of music. So Jonathan and the entire British orchestra, British schools orchestra, thank you very much indeed, and could I have one more round of applause for you? <laughs> Okay, I believe I have some flowers to give now, so if I could... Uh, who have I got these for first? This one is for Jonathan. Uh, thank you so much for everything that you've done for us. <laughs> and uh, we have a bunch here for our very special music, head of music, music teacher, musician of many instruments, uh, Paul Lett. Thank you so much for uh, <laughs> And uh, you may have noticed that we transformed everything tonight. It's, this looks so wonderful here, so I'd like to thank Danny very much for your effort. And husband, but I'll give them to Danny anyway. It really was well worth it. And uh, finally, guys, thank you very much indeed, all of you. I hope you've had a great time while you've been here. It's a real pleasure. I hope to see you here again, and I hope to get an orchestra within the school with our own students in the not too distant future. And I'm sure all of you do. You're welcome back any time. I could listen to that all over again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, just on behalf of Phobis here, really, I just wanted to extend our thank you to um, British International School Phuket for being amazing hosts. Actually, about seven months ago, Phobos here always puts on a festival of music, combined choir and orchestra every November. But we found ourselves in a very tricky situation where we didn't have a host for this, um, this November 2015. So there's a massive panic going through Phobos here music, who we're going to choose and what we're going to do. And after a few emails, Mrs. Wilkinson said, I've just joined a new school. It's got boarding facilities. The team are really supportive. The school is really backing of music, and we've got a lovely auditorium. We would love to host it. So I'd like to say a huge thank you, Mrs. Wilkinson, for, for stepping into the breach, for saving us, and that is why we have Phobos here Orchestra. I'm sure you all agree that the Phobos here Orchestra for our gifted and talented students, because it is our grade five plus students from our schools, has been a huge success. And it's been so much so, and we've enjoyed it so much, that it has become 
a regular um, event in our Phobosphere calendar, so we will be hosting this event next year at another school. Before I finish though, there are, I know the students will be dying to say a few thank you. To, there's lots and lots of rehearsals that go into this in our schools before we get here. So I'd like to invite all of the teachers from each of these schools just to stand up and students, would you like to give them a huge round of applause? Having a guest conductor, as Mr. Richard said, is an um, extremely val invaluable experience for students that are within the secondary school. It's something that we can't offer within our own schools. So Jonathan, on behalf of Obersea, thank you so much. Your passion, uh, the way you've embraced our students has been amazing. to Christian International School Phuket. Thank you so much for stepping into the breach, for making this an amazing opportunity, a wonderful weekend of making music together. And to Mrs. Wilkinson, Mr. Wilkinson, Ruth Baker, and for Lynn Daniel, who's been organising all the logistics. Thank you for your warm welcome and hospitality, and we hope that you will have us back at some point in the future. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. these events. Um, uh, thank you all once again for coming. There are refreshments around the back, so if you'd like to take some refreshments. And uh, I'm sure, certain that I'll be trying to get Fabicia Orchestra here again in the future, as well as develop um, all the talents that we've got uh, within our own school. So thank you once again, all of you, for coming, and have a very safe journey home. Thank you all.